Hello again and welcome back to our course on Word 2019. We're now down to the opening a document module. And really opening a document is just the opposite of saving. So it's very straightforward. What we have on the screen here is just a blank Word application. So I closed down the previous document and now I want to reopen it. So I'm going to go up to the file tab. So remember, this takes us into that backstage area and it's jumped me automatically to the open section because I have nothing open. Word is assuming that I'm going to want to open a file. Now, that may be the case or it might not. It might be you want to create a new one from scratch. But in this case, it's got it pretty much right. I do want to open a document. So again, this looks kind of similar to the Save As screen that we were in previously. You'll see that Recent is highlighted. And I also have Documents underlined. So it's showing me underneath all of my recent documents. And you should be able to see there right at the top, we have my first letter at the top there. So if I wanted to open it, I can very simply just click it from this list and it will open. Now, I'm not going to do that at the moment because I want to show you something slightly different. I'm going to browse to a location and I'm just going to go up to a location where I have a number of different Word files. So let's go to Documents and I'm going to go into this folder here because I want to show you something quite important with regards to this Explorer window that we're currently looking at. So there's different ways that you can view files before you open them. So a lot of the time you might know what you're looking for. Sometimes you won't. Sometimes you might need to see a little bit more detail about a file. So there are lots of different ways that you can view this file list. And you can do that by clicking on this little option just here. And it gives you a number of different ways that you can view the file list in the Explorer window. So currently I have details selected, but if I go to extra large icons, it's going to show me them like that. And if I go to large icons, they're a bit smaller. I also have medium icons. I'm sure you can imagine what those look like. And then small icons. Then we have list. List is quite a popular one. I personally prefer to choose the details option because not only does it give you the list, but it also gives you a little bit more information about each particular file. So I can see here in the status column, I can see that those are all saved into the cloud and that they're all synchronized up. I can also see the date that these files were modified. And I can also see the type, so whether they're a Word document, PDF, Excel file, and also the size. Now, the size can be critical sometimes, particularly when you're dealing with very large files. It's good to be able to see the file size. So I like the details option, but it is up to you. There are a couple of others in here. So we have tiles, again, just a different way. And then finally, we have contents. That gives you, again, a little bit more information like the author, date modified, things like that. For me, that's slightly too much. As I said, I prefer the details option, but just be aware that you have different ways that you can view your files so you can see a little bit more information so you know which one you want to open. Now, in this case, I'm going to open a file called Navigate. So let's select it and click Open. And I'm also going to open another file. I'm going to reopen that letter file that we just saved. So back to File. I'm going to jump down to Open. And this time I'm going to pick it up from my recent list. So I'm just going to click. And again, it's going to open that document over the top of the other one. And remember, we can switch between the two by going up to view, going to switch windows, and we can switch between the two of them. Alternatively, we can hover our mouse over our word icon at the bottom and then navigate between the two of them as well. So that's a nice way of having multiple files open and being able to switch between them. Now, another thing that's quite nice sometimes is to be able to view two documents side by side. This is particularly good if you're comparing two documents or maybe you are cutting something from one and pasting into another. You don't want to have to keep switching between the documents. What you can do is you can display them side by side. And again, it's quite useful. We're on the correct ribbon. On the view ribbon, you'll see that you have a view side by side option. So let's click it. And there we go. I now have both of my documents taking up exactly half of the screen. So as I said, really good if you need to copy and paste or see two things at the same time. 
Of course, if you want to just get one of the documents back to its full size, if you just click on the maximize in the corner, and it will bring that document to the front in its full size. Now, another thing you can do on that view ribbon is you can use the split option. So let's see what that does. Let's click on split. Now, this is quite interesting. What it will do is it will split the same document. So I have the same document in both halves of the screen. You can see exactly the same, but it means I can scroll each document independently. So again, this is good if I'm trying to do some comparisons or some cutting and pasting, lots of different things you can do with that split option if you want to see two different areas of the same document at the same time. And of course, if I want to get back to it just being one document, I have the remove split option. And there we go. And there's just one final option I want to point out in here, which you might want to use, and that's the arrange all button. So let's click it. And it kind of tiles them over the top of each other. And I don't particularly like this view too much. I, I never really use it. But again, if you've got quite a few documents open, maybe more than two, it can be quite useful to be able to see them all kind of arranged next to each other. And again, to get out of this, just click the maximize on one of the documents. So a few different ways that you can view your document once you've opened it. So hopefully that's given you some insight on how you can open one or more files and the different ways that you can view them when you're working on your document. In the next module, we're going to talk about navigating in documents. So please join me for that.